Hey, what's up everyone? 2D Toys back with another video. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that sub button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. We got tons of great content coming your way, like this guy. And for today's figure review, we're going to be taking a look at the Jaded Toys Ken Masters from Street Fighter 2 Ultra. And like we always do here, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. We'll slide him in a little closer. You got a nice shot of Ken there with all of the accessories in a window box. A little bit of artwork there in the back looks nice. Got the fighting detail up top there, both the health bars. Some arcade cabinet details here for the sticks. Picture of Ken, the Street Fighter 2 logo, the Jada Toys logo. Uh, more of that arcade cabinet theme artwork there on the side. Product shot of Ken. Got the character roster here showing some of the past releases and maybe some of the future ones as well. More arcade artwork there. A little bit of writing here if you want to take a read. Not much on the bottom. A little bit of window on top. Nice sturdy packaging. Nice collector friendly packaging too if you don't want to open these guys. I think it looks really good just in the box but that's not what we do. So let's get this guy open and check him out. Watch out. When you ask for something, you might get it. So do it. And here we have Ken opened up and out of his packaging. We'll take a quick look at some of the details. Nice face sculpt. Eyes are painted on clean. Mouth looks pretty good. The hair is just softer plastic. It does got some mold lines in it. That looks really good. You can see the ear detail there. Sculpted muscle detail all over the chest. A little bit of shadow detail. More of that muscle detail down the arms. Some veining. There's a lot of that dry brushing here on the arms. You can really see it there in the creases. That all looks really good. Hands are sculpted nicely, gloves are painted. The geese in the same softer plastic. But tons of molded details in that. Some details in the belt. Same for the legs. Feet are sculpted nice with that same dry brushing on there. And a little bit more on the back. All in all, nice detail on this guy. I like the dry brushing they did here on the arms. Gives it a lot of depth. That all looks really good. That's about it for details on this guy. Let's take a look at some of the stuff he comes with. A uh, quick little edit here. I missed it the first time around. I didn't realize that the gi can actually come off. So you can take the belt and the shirt off. And the, the whole body is sculpted underneath here with a lot more of that dry brushing detail. So I just wasn't expecting that and I missed it the first time around so I just wanted to show it off. But that all looks really good. Tons of detail on this guy. And here we have a look at all the accessories that come in the box. We'll start off by taking a look at the stand here. It's your basic stand. Kind of comes with all the Jaded Toy figures. Got an armature there that just plugs into a clear base and the effect piece will go on here. So that looks really good. I'm glad that it's at least included. Got the flame effect here, translucent red, translucent orange, or I guess yellow. Looks really good. Decent amount of weight to this thing too. It's got the hands on the inside there, which looks really nice, actually. This is a great looking effect piece. Uh, mine did have a little bit of QC issue. It does have a mark right here that seems to be on the inside, so there's really not much I can do about it. I might reach out to Jada Toys and see if they can help me get another one, but it's nothing terrible. And the effect piece still looks really nice. Nice amount of details on it. Alternate head sculpt here. Painted just as well as the original. Got a little bit more of your angry fighting face. The eyes still look good on this one. The hair is molded a little bit different too. It's got a little bit more of a windswept look, so that's nice. And you get a set of alternate hands here. 
Gloves are still painted in the same brown. These will be a little bit more for mimicking the fireball pose. So that all looks really good. Head's just on a ball joint. If you can get it popped off there. And then you can just plug the other one on. Although it's a super tight fit on that one. And for the hands, just a ball peg style that we're used to. Just pop that one off. I don't know if I can grab the right one. So at least use the right one for the right side. I'll just plug in there. So then you can have that going. And for the stand, I know how we had this together, but armature just plug into the base. And then you'll take your fireball. If I can find the port for it. And I'll just plug it in there. So just about the same as all the Jada Toy stuff. And then you can adjust it as you need to. So that looks great. Yeah, let's run through some of Ken's articulation here. You got a barbell for the neck. So it gets you a decent range up. And a ton down there. And you also get a swivel, a little bit of side to side, kind of just all around there. Shoulders hinge up about that far. And it'll rotate all the way around. You do have a butterfly joint here, so you can come in and out a little bit. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow there. Get you the pretty much the full range there until the sculpt hits. Ball peg style wrist, so you get your swivel, and then you also get some in and out. A joint here at the diaphragm, and then a ball joint here at the waist. So with both of them together, I'll get you a decent range back, and a pretty good crunch forward. The gi kind of limits any kind of rotation up here, but you do get an unrestricted waist swivel. So that all looks really good. Shoulders up and out of the way. Uh, ball jointed hips. Get you the full range out. And get you about up to that far. And back quite a bit less due to the sculpt. Double jointed knees, again, pretty much the full range till the sculpt hits there, so that's not bad. And ball joint, oh I'm sorry, ball peg there in the ankles, so you do get a swivel. You do get some toe up there, and some toe down, uh, but no real side to side. So fairly well articulated, I think it's going to get you just about everything you're going to want out of it. There's that. Size wise, looks like Ken's coming in right about six and a quarter to the top of the head. And here you stand next to my last Jada Toys review, the Mega Man Iceman, next to a Figuarts Chainsaw Man, and next to a G.I. Joe Classifieds figure. <laughs> And final thoughts wise, I, I love the packaging on these guys. I love the arcade shape of the box and the artwork on the sides. It all looks really good. I like the full clear window that they give him and you can see all the accessories in there. I think it looks really nice. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like to open their figures. And I think these guys right here display really well even if you choose to leave them in the box. Details wise, I think this figure looks great. I mean, all the molded details on it looks great. I like the, the amount of dry brushing they put in on the muscle detail. All looks really good. It comes through really good. The soft material that they use for the gi is all really nice. I was really surprised to see that you can take the, the upper part of the gi off and that the, the body is fully sculpted and painted and it all looks really good. The head sculpts look nice. I like that they did something a little bit different with the alternate head sculpt. They even changed the hair a little bit. I feel like they probably could have just swapped the face out and nobody would have really said anything but they kind of went the extra mile and changed the hair up a little bit as well. There's not a ton of paint on this guy, but the, I mean the gloves are painted nicely and, and the face comes through nice and it all looks really good. It, even though they didn't use a ton, where they've applied it, been applied well, and I think it, 
I think it works. As far as accessories go, I think he comes with a fair amount. I mean, he comes with a, an, an alternate set of hands, he comes with an alternate head sculpt, and he comes with a, an effect piece with a stand to go with it. I mean, what really, what more can you ask for at this price point of a figure? All the accessories look really good. I think the flame effect looks amazing, especially with the molded in hands on the inside there. All that looks really good. Even though mine had a little bit of QC issue, I'm still pretty happy with it, even if I can't get another one. I still have no issues with it. It just looks that good. I know they did an alternate color scheme for the Ryu, and I'm hoping if we get one of those for Ken, maybe we'll get some kind of flame effect to go on his hand for the uppercut, and I think it would look really great. But otherwise, I think all the accessories it come with is, is perfectly fine for this guy. Again, at this price point of a figure, the, the articulation is excellent. Uh, the, only, the only thing I could possibly complain about, uh, he has no real ankle tilt. Uh, the ball peg will go up and down, and it'll swivel there at the upper ankle. But there's no actual tilt in the ankle. I think that probably could have been added in. But the rest of the articulation is on point. Uh, the arms move smooth. The butterfly joint works nice. The two joints in the body all, all work really good. And you can even get some extra range out of, the, out of the diaphragm joint if you take the gi off. So all that looks really good. And I really have no issues with it. And all in all, if you like the character, if you like Street Fighter, I mean, this guy gets a recommend from me. I think for the price point... You really can't beat a figure like this with what he comes with and the articulation that he has. And that's really all there is to say on this guy. Now, this has been my review of the Jaded Toys Ken Masters from Street Fighter 2 Ultra. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Also, I'll drop at least one link down below where you can possibly pick this guy up at still. I'll also leave the links down below for Facebook and Instagram if you want to follow us there. And as always, I just want to say I really appreciate everybody stopping by. I love making videos like these, and I can't wait to bring you more content like this. But that's going to do it for today. Till next time, for the love of toys, we'll see you.